I am just about to begin the creation of Charge, the new show for Motion House. It's my favourite time in the calendar, is this period leading up into the creation of a new work. I've been working on the research and the development of the physical ideas for the show and we will begin creation in February. Charge is the third part of a triptych that will span nine years of work for Motion House. It began with Scattered, Broken was part two, and the third part, Charge, comes out next year, 2017. I have had a fantastic time working with scientists and researchers on the themes of energy. I've been working with Professor Francis Ashcroft and her team at Oxford University, and it's been really exciting to look at the human body as an electrical system, how without the possibility of an electrical charge being passed across the cell, there can be no life as we know it on this planet. And it's been really extraordinary journey for me to be gathering that information and thinking about what is the work going to be? Because it's such a perfect subject for us to be creating. Energy, the energy in the human body, the electrical system, and how that then relates to energy between bodies and finally between bodies and the planet we live on. So we're journeying, if you like, from the human cell to the sun in this incredible gradient of energy and action. And it's going to be a very exciting project for us. What do I think about when we're going to creating a new show? There's the research, the relationship between science and art which is the foundation for building these shows. That's the content. There's also the form. How are we going to move on developing our dance language and absorbing circus and other physical languages into what we're going to do? How's that form going to develop? What type of language is going to move us on again and be exciting for the viewer, but also develop and create new possibilities in the work that we're making? and also the structure within which the whole performance takes place. What is the relationship between the sound, the digital, the physical, and that temporal passage of time, that, that wonderful hour and 20 that I get of the audience's attention? How is that all going to come together into creating a new work? And that's exactly the questions that I'm playing with at the moment.